Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa, definitely make sure you subscribe. I just finished filming this kind of holiday makeup, hair and outfit look. Um, I wanna get into it right away because I feel like it's gonna be a long video. I didn't really create this having Christmas in mind. It's just kind of like any special occasion. It can be Christmas, New Year's Eve, a birthday party, whatever you want it to be. I think it turned out so cute. I'm like so happy with the makeup and everything. About to take hella photos. But if you want to see how I created this, then make sure to keep on watching. So we are first going to start off with my hair. Um, it's still pretty clean, but I really want to do like a sleek high ponytail with some like pieces in the front. So I'm actually going to use my Zala hair extension. This is not sponsored. I bought this myself. Um, my other ponytail extension I always wear is from them as well, but I got a new one. This is actually the first time I'm going to wear it and use it. First, I'm going to go ahead and just put my hair into a sleek ponytail. Um, like I said, I want to leave some pieces out in the front. So just creating a middle parting real quick. I'm hello. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna do like this. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just parting these two pieces right here to be somewhat equal. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna take this all up. I don't think I'm going to use too much like wax or anything or gel in my hair because it is still quite clean and I don't want to get it dirty yet. Just using my tangle teaser to brush it all up. I get questions on how I do my ponytail all the time. I did do a video on it last year which I'll try to link down below. I used a lot more gel back then because... Um, I was like into the super sleek, but now I kind of like when it's a little bit more messy. I'm just going to kind of like that. You want to make sure you use quite a thick um, hair elastic because we're going to use that to put the ponytail in. So I'm just going to grab it and push it into the hair elastic. And then wrap this piece around. Also, because I haven't washed it yet, it's very like sleek and stuff. Like it. I just lost my body pen. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. This piece is not one of. What is that? So then, what I'm gonna do is just put this back and I'm gonna do my baby hairs using this red one wax instead of the got to be blue that I usually use. This is a bit different to like work with, but I like that you can just brush it out of your hair and it doesn't like get hard, it doesn't get flaky, like you can literally just brush it out and you're good to go. You can kind of use it to like smooth it down the hair as well. I find it harder to create nice swoops with this, but as soon as you do, they do look really good. Also love the smell i feel like if a guy smelled like this because it's a kind of like a masculine smell if i had a man that smelled like this i would be sniffing him all day because it smells literally so good i think i want to actually keep these straight i don't think i want to curl them i think i'm going to leave it like this and then later on i'll perfect any anything from the ponytail and stuff i just kind of want to have the basic ponytail on right now also can we ignore this big ass pimple on my nose she hurts so bad she's super red i don't know if you guys can tell with this lighting but i thought i could pop her but i couldn't so she got even bigger this morning that's fine okay hair is done for now we'll get back to this later now i want to talk about the makeup inspo i mean you have already seen the final product or the final look but the makeup inspo, I kind of, I'll put it on the screen. I kind of want to do like a graphic liner. Like, I don't want it to be like obvious holiday, like Christmas or New Year's Eve. Like, I kind of want it to just be like 
cute and fun you can wear this with whatever special occasion maybe with like super glowy skin we'll see what it ends up looking like i'm not the best at makeup but i can do kind of like the basics yeah i took off my shirt because i it's white and i don't want to get makeup on it so let's first prime the skin and then i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes so for my skin i'm gonna use a mixture of the Too faced hangover rx which is dirty and the hourglass mineral veil so the Too Faced one I kind of put on like the outside of my face and like forehead, kind of like this. And then the hourglass I'm going to put in my T-zone. Am I running out? Hello? I promise I still have some in here. Oh my god, that scared me. I think it's because it's been on its side this whole time. Come on girl, give me something. I'm just opening it up. It's so whatever. That works. On so now we gotta prime the eyes. I'm gonna use my MAC Soft Over Paint Pot to prime my eyes. Do you guys see how much paler my face is compared to my body? It's not, it's not funny. It's the same face keep on Simple, my nose is so ugly. I think I'm gonna use this Morphe palette. And I'm gonna go in with this color because I do really love warm tones. And I'm gonna use kind of like a smaller, can you see that? There we go, I think, a smaller brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop that into the crease. I have no idea what I'm doing. All my brushes are dirty. Okay, I found a clean one, but it is stained with green. But I can just use this, okay. You want the eyes like super soft. And then on the lid, I do want like a lighter shade to kind of give off that 90s vibe. We're going to get that from this palette. This is Sigma palette. I'm going to grab this color. Oh, when will it I think that's literally all I want to do. We're just going to leave the eyes like this for now until we go back and add the liner. I'm really excited for the liner. I hope it turns out good. We're going to head on to the face now. So I think the foundation I want to use is the Sephora Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. Um, I'm kind of in between colors, but I think I'm just going to start with this one color. And then if it's too light, I can just add a little bit of darker on top of it. I feel like this should be okay like i don't know my face is just so pale compared to my body i don't think you guys can see no you can't see right now but i'm lighting a vanilla candle from ikea and it smells so good like that really is like the best candle ever need some extra on the nose girl <laughs> to cover up that pimple i really like this foundation because it's like super natural but i don't know it just looks so good on the skin you know so now we're gonna go in and do the brows real quick because i always feel weird when my brows aren't done using the Anastasia dip brow, like brow gel. It's in the color dark brown, yeah. And I'm just gonna lightly run this through my brows because I don't really fill in my brows anymore. This, this kind of does the job for me. So like at the tail, I press a little bit harder because it does give off like a tint. And then here at the front, I just kind of run it through lightly. I laminated my brows at home yesterday, so they're like, Super easy to work with now. Now we kind of got to like shape. We're gonna fix this. It looks weird right now. Before I go in and fix it, I'm gonna put on my Too Faced Born This Way concealer it's just underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna blend it out yet. I'm literally just gonna put it on there and let it sit because it adds coverage. So a little bit on the forehead, on the mouth. My makeup right now is such a mess. Like. But I'm just leaving it because I know that once I move, I'm going to organize the whole thing. And I don't feel like doing it now. Okay, just going to brush out my brows real quick and brush it into place. This sometimes transfers some of the gel onto my skin, but that's okay because we're going to clean it up with... I use the um, NYX Board to Glow Concealer. I'm going to use a concealer brush to carve them out. Are you the same? Are you the same? 
but I think that looks fine to me. Time to blend out the concealer. I'm just using my beauty blender again. Pressing it in and I'm going to take it to like carve that line from the eyeshadow as well. I'm bringing it into my inner corner a little bit and I'm going to blend it out with a smaller brush later. I'm not going to do any cream contour because I really just want to go in with powders. Sometimes I like to cream contour but... Today I'm not feeling it. Now that this is done, I'm going to set my whole face. I'm going to set it quite well because I just want everything to last really long. Using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to go in with my, oh that's a lot, with my damp beauty blender. And just press it into my skin like all over. Starting underneath my eyes. Pressing in and pressing away any um, creases. Making sure nothing's shiny anymore. My nose. I really want to get this in the darker shades. I know they have multiple shades now. When I got this, they didn't yet. Um, oh, I got it on my hair a little bit. Or maybe I just didn't realize they had it. Press it onto my brows a little bit as well. Before I continue on with the face, I really want to do the eyeliner. So let me go ahead and find it first. I found one. I don't know if this one was good or not, but it's the Ico liner. I know I had another one, but I don't know where it is. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay. So first, just going to... Let me try to see that more. I'm not good at this, by the way. I'm gonna kind of go for my lower lash line and flick it up like that until I feel like it's high enough. And then I'm gonna go like that and then connect it. Another I'm going to take my liner brush. Oh, can you see that? It's boxing. Yeah. I'm going to take my liner brush into a black eyeshadow and just run it over the lines. Oh, that's not good. I have not used my ring light in forever, but I just have to pop it out because my other light died. Lighting looks so different like this. <laughs> I'm just taking some of that black and just feathering it out right there. And I can just go in with some concealer on a concealer brush and perfect it if I want to. And then I was thinking of doing, taking the same black eyeshadow, take this down here a little bit. And then the brown shade we need just that like outer part, nothing more. I'm so shaky, I hate this. Okay, I'm going to quickly do this to the other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so let's head on to the face. I'm going to go in with my go-to bronzer, which is this L'Oreal Too Much Powder. It's not a bronzer, but I just... I love how this looks on my face, so... We're going to add a lot. This makes me look orange, and I love it. Step on my rose, step on my rose, step on my rose. And we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna take the slightest bit of this Anastasia bronzer. It's really dark, so I'm gonna take like a super light hand. That just adds that little bit of depth. But for my nose contour, I'm again taking like a super light hand of this. That's a good contour. I know the lighting's like on one side of my face. Maybe I should do this instead. Wait, I should have done this before. I'm so dumb. Okay, this lighting's better. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's so much better, damn. For blush, I'm taking my all-time favorite NARS Orgasm. Nothing compares to this. I put like a ton of this on and I absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna quickly carve out the bronzer and the contour. For highlighter, I think I want to go in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. I don't use this that often anymore, but this is such a beautiful highlighter. It's like broken, kind of, but you guys see that? Like, this is so gorgeous. And I want to take that on my inner corner as well. Period. Going to set my face real fast. Always use the NYX Matte and Radiant Finish um, setting sprays. These are just the best to me. They're so cheap. I'm 
Ooh, it's a pot. Quickly gonna set my brows with the clear Anastasia brow gel. Just brushing them up, fluffing them out a little bit as far as I can. And then, am I gonna go in with the rhinestones? I'm not wearing falsies, by the way. It's just falsies don't work for me. Oh my god! Just drop them all into my drawer. That's great. Now the biggest question is, do I have a clear lash glue? Found one. Thinking maybe along there. Can't I move on? For some reason, both my camera batteries weren't charged, but I'm just gonna film and see how far we can go. Um, I'm gonna put my freck on. I'm not really gonna do freckles, I'm actually just gonna do like beauty spots. Just simple, I don't know if you can see that even. But. And then I'm gonna go in with mascara. I found this one in my drawer and it was like all new, so I'm gonna put it on. It's the Maybelline Colossal Water. Oh, it's waterproof. Never mind. I don't have anything to take that off with. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia lash bag. Okay, so my battery died. Oh, shit. My battery died and I thought the other one was charged, but it wasn't, so. Anyways, I finished off the makeup. I put on the Anastasia Lash Bag Mascara. I did my freck. You guys saw that. And then I, for my lips, I first went in with the MAC Cork Lip Liner. And then I went in with the Sephora Clean Lip Mousse in Cedar? 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 I don't know. <laughs> and then I went in with the Anastasia Lipstick in Kiss. And then I went in with the Sephora Clean Lip gloss glossy lip oil and uh, apricot 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 so that's like it's four products on my lips right now but i am sorry but this look is really cute i was not expecting it to turn out this good but i love it like holy shit like that is so cute i'm about to take hella photos but um yeah, I'm going to show you guys the outfit now, and then we're pretty much done with the video. So let me show you the outfit right now. You're going to like it a lot. So this is the outfit. I'm wearing this super pretty black dress from RUMI. I've had this for quite a while now. They sent it to me, like, I think during the summer or, like, before summer. Um, you can honestly, because this is expensive, you can honestly wear any type of little black dress, silky slip dress. I'll try to leave some alternatives down below because... I'm not going to expect you guys to buy a dress this expensive unless you obviously want to. And then I'm wearing this oversized shirt on top of it from Collusion on ASOS. I really like this because it makes it a bit more casual. Um, I feel like the dress on its own is obviously gorgeous, but I personally know that I'm going to like feel kind of uncomfortable and like, I don't know, it's just a little much for me. So wearing this shirt on top I think is really cute, just with a black shoulder bag. And then I'm wearing my Prada boots underneath, just because I'm not a heels wearer. I cannot walk in heels, they're uncomfortable to me. If you do walk in heels at them, like, that would look really, really cute. That would just finish off the look, but I personally do not wear heels. I have them, but I don't wear them, so... This is what I would wear. Um, I think I might actually wear this on Christmas as well. Um, I think it's it's really pretty and very girly, but it's not necessarily... It doesn't scream Christmas, which is what I like. Um, so you can obviously also wear this for New Year's Eve. You can even wear this for like your birthday or something. It doesn't really matter. Any type of special occasion. Um, yeah, I love it so much. I'm going to leave links to everything down below for you. As well as the makeup products I obviously used and... So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Also, turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And follow me on my Instagram because I post on there every single day, whether that's on my story or on my feed. I'm always active. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.